basically uh, met this object. Um, so um, this here goes 100 times in the y axis and uh, then baked it, atlas baked it. So and the atlas UV bake uh, UV map looks like that. Actually I didn't bake it, I atlas UV mapped it. Uh, so you can see that you know these polygons here belong to that pile. So what I thought was, what if you had hypervoxels and you wanted to freeze them or make them into geometry? How would you do that? And and I thought, well, what if you made the hypervoxels glowing? So do that by going in here. Luminosity, set so that to 100 for the meter, of course. Um, yeah, nothing special with the plane, with the object, black wave object itself, just regular object, really. Uh, default colors and stuff. Of course, I use GI. Um, and I have a radio radiosity interpolated blur background, all right. Uh, but you got to take this one on, vol volumetric uh, radiosity. Actually, it looks better if we take this one off, and it's that not that much slower, so gonna go with that. Um, so then you bake it, bake it to, you bake that uh, light wave object and the UV texture you created. That's pretty much it. Hit F9. So now you can see that the hypervoxels are basically being baked onto the object. But uh, this still has some way to go. I mean, this is just a simple hypervoxel object, so. There's a lot of stuff that could be improved here, but uh, I just thought I'd give it a go and see if it worked. Um, I haven't really figured out why it's black down here. Uh, not quite sure about that. Maybe there are no hypervoxels in that area, I'm not sure. Maybe we should just go to a different frame. Okay, here we see the result. That's our result. And uh, I used interpolated. This would be all blurred out. It would look quite different. So that's why I'm, that's why I went with uh, just regular. Curiosity. And now let's try to change the frame here. Go to frame 100 or so. And render. Just gonna see. Yeah. Same stuff. So these are glowing. This one is glowing. Let's go to frame 20. That shouldn't have that much hypervoxels active, so. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Seems to be darker. So 
I'm not really sure what's going on, but um, at least you can see something is happening. I think that's about it for now. Uh, maybe I'll come back to this test later on, improve it maybe. But uh, the idea of course is that now you can use this grayscale here and um, you can use that image to displace, displace the box itself. Just an early test, really. But maybe some of you guys want to check out possibilities for voxel baking geometry. And uh, maybe this might give some clues on how to do it.